Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, today we are going to solve two problems on equivalent resistance of a resistive circuit. So first problem is that we have given a circuit and we have to find the equivalent resistance across the terminal A and V. So we have to compute the equivalent resistance R A B. For solving the equivalent resistance circuit, we will have to simplify this circuit. Here we can see that this one ohm resistance is in series with the one ohm resistance. So we can solve this equivalent resistance. We can solve this circuit to find out the equivalent resistance by using series parallel combination. So here we can see that this one ohm resistance is in the series with the one ohm resistance. So if we add one ohm resistance with one ohm resistance, we will get two ohm resistance. So we redraw the circuit in order to find out the equivalent resistance that can be drawn like this one ohm resistance and here main important point is that you can note down this is the node c this is the node d you can consider and this is the node e you can consider and most important thing is here we don't have any resistance between this node and this node so this node will be the common and we can write this is the e node so what we can do we have connected two registers between C and E and we have connected two registers between D and E. So how we can redraw this circuit? Let's look at here. This is the node A. This is the node C. This is the node D. And this node D is connected with the E with two ohm register. node B and this is the node E complete. So we have node D is connected with the two ohm resistance here. And what we can do, we can connect this node, this six ohm resistance with the D and E in parallel with the two ohm resistance. Similarly, we can connect this three ohm resistance in parallel with the six ohm resistance. This is a six ohm resistance. This is three ohm resistance. Now, C is directly connected with the E with 3 ohm resistance and we have another resistance C which is connecting with the E by 6 ohm resistance in parallel with the 3 ohm resistance. So this is our circuit that we are getting. Now we can simplify this circuit. Here we have two parallel resistors 3 ohm and 6 ohm with C and E and same resistance we have from D to E. If we find out the equivalent resistance, if we find out the equivalent resistance or parallel combination of 3 ohm and 6 ohm, we will get 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6. That will be nothing but 18 divided by 9 or it is 2 ohm. So what we can do, we can redraw this circuit. We can redraw this circuit. Here we are connecting C with E. Here we are connecting D with E. And we have B, one register between B and D. And this is a 2 ohm resistance as usual. Now we have to compute the equivalent resistance A and B. Always remember for computing the equivalent resistance, you start to simplify from the far away from the terminal. That means we have to compute the equivalent resistance across this terminal. You try to start the solving from this terminal. So here we have 2 ohm. This is the 2 ohm that we got the equivalent resistance from parallel combination of 3 to 6. This is also 2 ohm which is the parallel combination of 3 ohm and 6 ohm. This is 2 ohm that is given in the problem. This is the 1 ohm and this is the 0 0.8 ohm. Now you know when we have two parallel resistors with the same value. So our equivalent of the parallel resistors will be R divided by number of resistors. So here we have value 2 ohm that will be divided by 2 and it value will be half that is nothing but 1 ohm. Half of the resistor value. So we have two, two parallel resistors with 2 ohm. So its combination will be 1 ohm resistance. 
Now if we redraw it, we will get two ohm, one ohm, this one, two ohm, this one. This is the one ohm and 0 0.8 ohm. Now this problem looks little easier because this two ohm is in the series with the one ohm. So we will get three ohm. So here we'll get new register. That is the three ohm. And this will be three ohm will be parallel with the two ohm register. So we can simplify this three ohm register that is in the parallel with the two ohm register, we will get two into three divided by two plus three, and we will get five divided uh, six divided by five. Or in other terms, we will get one point two ohm. If we simplify this, if we simplify this, we simplify further, we will get one point two and point eight here. This is the one ohm. This is a 1.2 ohm and this register is a 0 0.8 ohm. After simplifying it, all these three registers are in the series and RAV will be nothing but the sum of all these three register value. 1 plus 1.2 plus 0.8 and we will get its value is 3 ohm. So our equivalent for this given circuit is 3 ohm. So always remember for solving the equivalent resistance of any network, you try to start the far away terminal from the far away resistance from the equivalent terminal. That means we have to compute the equivalent resistance from A and B in this case, from A and B. Always we'll try to start the solving from the right side. Now we'll solve another problem that is the infinite ladder network. So here we have a combination of one ohm and two ohm register infinitely it is moving towards the right side. We have connected infinite number of combination of one ohm and two ohm resistors. We want to compute the equivalent resistance across A and B. So here if we consider RAV, if we consider RAV is nothing but X, just we consider RAV nothing but X which is the parallel combination of uh, which is combination of one ohm and two ohm infinite ladder. So if we remove this part, if we consider, if we consider this is the network, if we consider this is the network, this is also the same thing. If we want to, if we compute the equivalent resistance at this point, at this point, consider C and D. So this is nothing but RAV equal to R, C, D, and we can consider it is equal to X also. So we can redraw the circuit, which is one ohm, two ohm, and x. We are considering RCD as x because this is again combination of 1 and 2 ohm resistors infinitely moving to the right side. So we have 1 ohm resistor is here, 2 ohm resistor is here and this is the x ohm and now we can compute RAV. From here you can see that 2 ohm is in parallel with the x. So we can get 2x divided by x plus 2. And now this combination is in the series with one ohm resistance and we will get this thing. So how we can solve it? We can write RAV which is equal to 2x divided by x plus 2 plus 1. And we know RAV is nothing but equal to x that we have considered. This, is our, this was our assumption initially. We consider RAV is equal to x. So we can write like this. Now if we solve this, we will get 2x plus x plus 2 is equal to x square plus 2x. After simplifying it, we will get an equation which is nothing but x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from the quadratic equation, the solution of the quadratic equation, we can get x is equal to minus v plus minus square root of v square minus 4ac divided by 2. We can solve this equation by this formula and we have b is equal to minus 1. So we will get 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4ac a is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2. So we can write 4ac 
is 8 divided by 2 and this expression will be 1 plus minus 3 divided by 2. After solving this, we will get x is equal to minus 1 and another term will be 2. So, x is nothing but the equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance or RAV. x is nothing but the RAV. That is the equivalent resistance. That can't be negative. Always remember, resistance can't be negative. So, we can consider we can consider minus 1. So, this can this can this can't be our answer. So, RAV or nothing but the equivalent resistance of this circuit will be 2 ohm. So, correct answer for this problem is 2 ohm. And correct answer for the previous problem was 3 ohm. Thank you for watching this video.